welcome back to story time. Today is all about bunnies. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out. And wiggle my waggles away. Clap, clap, clap my crazies out. Clap, clap, clap my crazies out. Clap, clap, clap my crazies out. And wiggle my waggles away. I gotta jump, jump. Jump my jingles out, jump, jump, jump my jingles out, jump, jump, jump my jingles out, and wiggle my waggles away. I got a yawn, yawn, yawn my sleepies out, yawn, yawn, yawn my sleepies out, yawn, yawn, yawn my sleepies out, and wiggle my waggles away. Hippity hop, hippity hey, five little bunnies went out to play. Hippity hop, hippity hey, one little bunny hopped away. Hippity hop, hippity hey, four little bunnies went out to play. Hippity hop, hippity hey, one little bunny hopped away. Hippity hop, hippity hey, three little bunnies went out to play. Hippity hop, hippity hey, one little bunny hopped away. Hippity hop, hippity hey, two little bunnies went out to play. Hippity hop, hippity hey, one little bunny hopped away. Hippity hop, hippity hey, one little bunny went out to play. Hippity hop, hippity hey, and that little bunny hopped away. Bunny Figures It Out by Ruby Shamir. Bunny had been waiting for lunch since breakfast. She knew exactly what she wanted. Soft, chewy bread, thick, rich peanut butter, and most importantly, grape jelly. Sweet and sticky and perfectly purple. But when she reached into the fridge for the jelly jar, she discovered it was empty. No sweetness. No stickiness, no purpleness either. What was a bunny to do? Frantically, Bunny searched everywhere, inside the cupboards, under the table, behind the chairs. She even poked her head in the hamper. No luck. Mom, she yelled, there's no grape jelly. Sorry, honey, her mom called back. We'll get some more at the store next time we go. What's peanut butter without jelly? Bunny grumbled at her half-made sandwich. Then she had an idea. What if I made grape jelly? There was just one problem. Bunny had no idea how to do that. But Bunny's big brother knew how to do lots of things. I'll just ask Jack, she figured. Bunny hopped in front of her brother's video game. Do you know how to make grape jelly, she asked. Huh? No, I'll check my phone, Jack said. He swiftly tapped a few words onto his phone, tossed it to Bunny, and returned to his game. Bunny clicked on the first thing she saw, grape jellies. It's a pair of purple sandals, she said. Huh? Jack answered. Never mind, Bunny muttered. Her brother had been no help at all. But then she had a new idea. I bet Kitty will know. She's the best student in our class. Bunny hopped over to her neighbor's house and knocked on the door. Do you know how to make grape jelly? Bunny asked. Oh yes, Kitty said, scribbling on a slip of paper. Put a bunch of grapes in a bowl, sprinkle them with glitter, and twirl around three times saying these magic words. She handed the note to Bunny. Are you sure? Bunny asked. Positive, Kitty answered. I saw it in a video. Okay, Bunny shrugged and hopped home. Back in her kitchen, Bunny pulled a bowl of grapes from the refrigerator and poured some glitter over them. She stretched her arms and spun. Bibbly babbly, fill my belly. Jibbly jabbly, send forth jelly, Bunny chanted. Bunny looked in the bowl. 
no jelly. But she refused to give up. Someone's got to know how to make grape jelly. I think I need to ask a grown up. Bunny hopped back outside and saw her dad working on the car. Dad, do you know how to make grape jelly? She asked. Isn't grape jelly just squished up grapes and some sugar? Her dad called out. Right, Bunny exclaimed. I'll give that a try. Bunny washed the glitter off her grapes and laid them down on the patio. She poured some sugar over them. Bunny's heart raced with excitement as she hopped on her bike. Soon she'd have the stickiest, sweetest, most perfectly purple jelly around. Bunny sped over the grapes, but when she turned to look back at the patio, she didn't see any jelly. All she saw was a mess, and now she was really, really hungry. Does anyone know how to make grape jelly? Bunny cried. Suddenly, another idea popped into Bunny's head. I should ask Grandma, Bunny decided. I love her food best. Bunny hopped over to the senior center where Grandma was in the middle of a heated game of dominoes. Hi, Grandma, Bunny greeted her with a kiss. Do you know how to make grape jelly? Of course, sweetheart, Grandma said. I used to make jelly with my own grandmother back in the day. Here's what you do. Bunny took out a pen and paper and started writing as Grandma spoke. You start with fresh fruit, a squeeze of lemon, and then, excuse me, that's not how you make grape jelly, said one of Grandma's friends. You need to mix grapes in a pot with simple syrup. And are you kidding? Grandma's other friend piped in. Never use syrup in jelly. You always use plain white sugar first, and then Bunny looked up at Grandma and her friends arguing. Then she looked down at her piece of paper. Everyone was giving her different instructions. Bunny sighed and slumped out the door, her tummy rumbling. Why was it so hard to find someone who knew how to make grape jelly? As she headed home, Bunny passed the library. She remembered how the librarian at her school always helped her find answers to her questions. Like, why is the grass green? What makes boats float? And how hot is the sun? Maybe this librarian could help her now. Bunny went in and took a deep breath. Excuse me, she asked. Do you know how to make grape jelly? I don't, the librarian said. Bunny's heart sank right down to her toes. But, she added, I know how you can find out. Come with me. The librarian led Bunny to a huge bookshelf. We've got tons of cookbooks, she said. Let me know if you need help sorting through them. There was a whole row about jelly. One book in particular caught Bunny's eye, The Jelly Test Kitchen. Bunny read page after page until she landed on just the thing. Our chefs tested dozens of recipes and this is the one for the stickiest, sweetest, and most perfectly purple grape jelly. Yes, Bunny jumped up. This is what I've been looking for all day. As Bunny checked out the book, she hugged the librarian. We like that. Then she sprinted out the door, book in hand, and raced back home. Look, this is how you make grape jelly. No glitter, huh? Kitty marbled. Nope, no glitter at all, Bunny said. Just sweet and sticky and perfectly purple grape jelly. And if you check this book out, you can make your own grape jelly at home. Bye, see Bye. you next time.